Hi, today we're going to talk about uh, the T B cell interactions that causes pathogenic germinal centers in BXD2 mice. And I want to start with introduction because that's very important. To introduce the two key things we know are important in causing these pathogenic germinal centers. The first key thing is the necessity of two different cytokines, IL-17 and IL-21. And we show that IL-17 is necessary to, we think, increase regulator of G protein synthesis and bring the cells together, whereas IL-21 acts at about the same uh, time on the early germinal center formation, but does something different. Probably, in, when we pick it up, it is AI, AICID, recreation new site in the amylase. Now, the interesting thing is IL-17 is produced much more, uh, at much higher amounts than IL-21, so it's hard to see these IL-21 cells. That's the interesting thing. And you'll hear later or whether the question is whether the same cell produces both of them or whether they come from two different cells. And the other thing I just want to say that we think is important is that the necessity of C, uh, CD28, CD86 interactions, because way a long time ago we showed that that can block upregulation of AICID, and that prevents doing the same. So there's three steps that may occur. These may be simultaneous, one may occur before the other, but let me just talk about the three at least mechanisms. The first mechanism is a CD4 T cell produces IL-17, acts through IL-17 receptor, which is necessary. We have the receptor markup mice. We know the data on those. The, the um, B cells, and have kappa B signaling, upregulation of regulator of G protein signaling, and that slows the chemotaxis. And we think what happens there is now it enables the B cells to uh, interact in a longer time span in the CD4 T cells. That's the first step. The second step you see here, now that the B cells are now able to touch and interact more with the CD4 T cells uh, because of this RGS, the second step occurs is now the second cytokine comes into play by the CD4 T cell. Maybe the same T cell, maybe neither of them. That's the question. But IL-21 is now produced, acting through IL-21 receptor, and we think that upregulates AICID. The one reason why we think it upregulates activation of the in DMAs, not only is it high in the BXC2 B cells, but these two people, Carrington and Venusa, showed that um, IL-21 acts directly on B cell germinal center to upregulate BCL6, makes sense, and also upregulate uh, somatic cognition. The third step, gets back to the main, one of the interesting points we said earlier, is how can this interaction be intensified? We knew from a long time ago that CD86, CD28 interaction is important because if we block the CTLA4 IG, we don't get AID, we don't get these germinal centers. So let's just put it like this. As part of these two together, the B cells come in and stimulate through CD28, upregulate IL-17 maybe, or IL-21, or both, and then it, and it causes the interaction uh, to intensify, and it really drives these very pathogenic B cells. Or it could actually promote further development of the T cells to become double producers, IL-17 and 21. We don't know exactly whether this affects, or this signals this to affect this, or whether this signals this to then cause differentiation, but we do know that this interaction is important. This is important because we also wonder about co-stimulation through ICOS and ICOS ligand. Okay, so let me finish up by saying, so some of the questions that I always thought about before, there's two B cells. There's the B cell that comes in, presents the antigen, and stimulates T cell CD86. And then there's a second B cell that gets the results of the stimulation and goes out and becomes a germinal, or, or undergoes semantic augmentation, produces the antibody. The question is, are they the same B cell? You know, we think they might be, and it would make it uh, simple if they were. The other thing is, are there two T cells? Uh, what, if we threw, what if we put in uh, binding numbers of IL-17, and then the TFHs were a second population cells, and IL-17 sort of brought the B cells in close proximities to both of these T cells? Or uh, is it the same T cell? The, the same T cell has produced both IL-17 and 21. IL-17 brings a B cell close, and then IL-21 from the same cell uh, upregulates that. So uh, that's these are the kind of experiments we're, we're going to do. Okay, that's all.